Saving money is a modern day myth. Everyone says it like a mantra, but very few do it. Of all the money saving techniques, one of the simplest yet effective strategies ever developed in personal finance is the pay yourself first technique. It may sound too simple to work or even make you go, duh, but it has been proven by behavioral economics to make an extraordinary difference in building up surplus cash your retirement portfolio, or a down payment for purchasing a home. Danny Lau here from Lion Real Estate, empowering individuals and families with financial success through real estate. The pay yourself first technique requires minimal planning, minimal effort. The best part is, it requires no willpower. The pay yourself first technique requires you to treat your savings goal as the most important bill to be paid. Every time you get a paycheck, you pay yourself before paying any of your other bills, even the essentials like groceries or rent. One of the most intelligent ways to set up can be direct deposit, where a portion of your income goes into a separate bucket outside of your checking accounts, such as a 401k account. You can instruct your human resource department to split up your salary and withhold some money at the source much like having your tax withheld. The reason why this is an effective money-saving technique is based on the out-of-sight, out-of-mind principle. If you see $500 sitting in your bank account, you're much more likely to splurge on a fancy dinner than if you see 20 bucks in your account. It is all too easy to spend the money now and have a good time or to sweep the need to save money down the rug and vow that it will be different next month. Human beings are psychologically predisposed to give into temptation. By paying yourself first, you eliminate that potential. If you never saw the money, you don't feel the sting, and you're not tempted to spend it. We already discussed setting up a 401k account from work. Some other options for your pay yourself first technique include going down to your bank and setting up a Roth IRA account, or a dividend reinvestment plan where you have money automatically deducted from your checking accounts each month to purchase blue chip stocks. Lastly, the pay yourself first technique works particularly well if you get a pay raise or you earn overtime from your work. Additional dollars can be set aside from your normal household expense by creating an artificial scarcity. You're manipulating your own psychology to create conservative spending habits. For example, if you get a raise from $5,000 to $5,500 a month, you can stash away the $500 increase. This prevents the increase of cash flow from leading to increase in lifestyle inflation, where before you know it, you get comfortable spending the extra money every month. In a way, you're tricking your own brain to feel limited with cash. Pay yourself first, pay yourself religiously, get yourself a realistic saving goal and pursue it relentlessly. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please take a moment to like it and hit subscribe. Normally I would say you can also set a time with me to grab a cup of coffee so we can discuss how real estate can fit into your financial picture. Instead, I'm happy to offer a video call to maintain healthy social distancing. This is Danny Lau. See you next time.